Right now guys, go into the comment section of this video and leave a comment on what are you most looking forward to in gameplay part 2 of the Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay video? What are you guys most looking forward to? Be sure to leave your answers down in the comment section of this video. Howdy Outlaws, my name is Dean and welcome back to a new video here on the channel. In this video guys, we are going to be talking about some of the things we need to see within the next gameplay trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. So with that said, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, consider leaving a like on today's video and let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes first of all i want to thank you guys so much for all of the great support here on the channel it really does mean a lot and i want to thank every single one of you guys who leave a comment also i want to thank all of my new subscribers and all of my current viewers for supporting every single video i upload so guys thank you so much for the great support so again if you find yourself new around to the channel guys make sure you do consider subscribing subscribing as I do try my best to provide you guys with all of the latest and greatest Red Dead Redemption 2 videos and whenever there is really awesome stuff to talk about. Of course you guys can turn on the notifications and that way you won't miss out on any of the uploads here on the channel and as I say in every single video don't be a stranger always consider yourself an outlaw on this channel so guys make sure you join the rest of the outlaws by subscribing and that you guys don't miss out on the latest action here on this channel from what we saw so far within the red dead redemption 2 gameplay trailer there is so much to offer and at the end of the gameplay video it was confirmed that we will be seeing a second gameplay part to this video what exactly are we going to see within part 2 of the gameplay trailer? Well at the end of the trailer we do get told that we can see more about the activities such as fishing, missions, robberies and then of course there is much more to come. Now of course those are the basics, what exactly do we want to see specifically about all of these? Well for the activities it is no surprise that we want to see a lot more about the hunting system and what tactics we can use. How can we go about hunting, setting up traps for animals so that we can actually pick our prey off and then we can take them back and sell them on the market to earn money and all of that good stuff. With that being said, there is of course a lot more that we will be able to see within the next gameplay trailer. And of course Rockstar Games so far are doing a great job. They aren't giving us a lot of information but at the same time they are really giving us a lot to think about and that is really cool they are trying to add balance of course throughout the gameplay parts and that is very key because we don't want to know a lot about red dead redemption 2 and of course when we actually get to play the game we want to be able to play the game and learn for ourselves it is really difficult to give us gameplay footage and to provide information but at the same time without giving too much away about the system itself. What I am personally looking forward to the most is the robberies in Red Dead Redemption 2. And again from what we saw at the end of the first gameplay trailer we can see Arthur and some other unknown character in a train carriage robbing from people. And what's interesting is about this is that the guy at the back of the carriage is actually holding a bag and that means we can force people to put their loot into the into the bag again it is nothing groundbreaking but however there are going to be many tactics about how we can plan robberies and so on and of course that's something rockstar games will probably touch on next within part two because i personally want to be able to figure out for myself how i can go about planning a robbery rockstar games should definitely give us the the responsibility of planning and if we fail the robbery we can go back rethink the strategy again and go out and execute it once more and i think that is something really cool that rockstar games should be looking to implement into red dead redemption too. There is a lot of evidence to suggest that Rockstar Games will be giving us the authority within Red Dead Redemption 2 to be able to plan our own robberies. 
Another example of what we should definitely see within part 2 of the gameplay trailer is more about the wildlife and the intelligence of the animals. Because what's very interesting is within the gameplay trailer itself, Rockstar Games are making the animals much more intelligent. We can see when the bear is being surrounded by wolves. And what does this mean exactly? Well Rockstar Games are looking to improve the animal system, the wildlife system, how animals interact with the world and how they can defend for themselves. To any western game or any open world game that involves animals, you want them to be a lot more smarter and so that they can make their own decisions and that is something I am really truly looking forward to within Red Dead Redemption 2. Again that's all linking back to the hunting system and how we can actually go about trying to outsmart animals so that we can capture them and then we can take them back and sell them um, on the market and whatever the case might be. Again it just adds more to the, the fun experience and of course with the whole idea of exploring you just don't know what kind of situation you're going to end up in. Can you guys imagine you're walking through a forest somewhere and you have no idea where you are. You don't know your surroundings, you don't know what's around you and then all of a sudden a bear comes out of a tree from somewhere and just attacks you. I think that would be really cool and something challenging for sure because if you're in a forest somewhere I mean you have no idea what's going on. Especially within the gameplay trailer we can see an alligator hanging around in a swamp area. We just don't know what's in our surroundings and I think that adds mystery to the game and of course it will give us a bit of a challenge trying to survive in the wilderness and all of that great stuff. However with that said guys make sure you do leave your comments in the comment section of this video on what you guys are hoping to see shown in part 2 of the gameplay trailer. With that said guys I do thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you guys enjoyed a like rating would be so awesome and of course make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you find yourself new. As I say outlaws don't be a stranger to the channel consider yourself an outlaw and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.